heard. I don't like to repeat myself. Well, I didn't think we'd been on that fish today. Oh, why? Did I hurt your feelings? I am sorry, Robert. Grow up. And just don't worry, am with you? Good! I think I'll never understand women. Well, save yourself the bother and stop trying. There's no need for thanks. Huh. It's a good job, really. Where the hell have you been? Eh? I got back here after lunch, the place is empty and there's nothing done. Yeah, I'm sorry, I... Actually, it's my fault, Scott. I um, saw a classic car in the paper that I quite fancied and I needed someone to look it over. Oh, well, shame I wasn't here because I could have given you a second opinion. That's all right, it had already gone by the time we got there. Yeah, well, don't worry, I'll keep my ear to the ground, so to speak. I'll find you something. That's very kind of you. Well, um, thank you for your time. Glad to be of service. Do you fancy popping down to... Uh, do you mind if you have a word? Well, you can have several if you like. Oh, it's just about the wine for the wedding. Oh, yeah, what about it? Well, we're on it from Rodney, and, I mean, I just thought we'd need red, white and some fizz for the toast. What do you think, love? <laughs> well, how should I know? I mean, you go straight ahead. You've been in a decisive mood all day, don't stop now. But you don't have to decide now, it's not that important. Oh, well then, maybe it is a decision for me to make. That's if it's okay with you, sweetheart. Be my guest. Right, let's see, what do I want? Um, tell you what, give them each a bottle of cherry aid. And they'll know the difference, will they? 